We're going to continue looking at operators and expressions and the evaluation of expressions. And now we're going to investigate what happens when our expressions become a little more complicated. And by complicated, what we mean is when our expressions have more than one operator. So if we have an expression like 2 plus 3, it's pretty easy for us to think about what's going to be done. Python is simply going to take the data value 2 and the data value 3 and add them together. And when we look at this in our active code window, we can see that if we print the result of evaluating the expression 2 plus 3, when we run this, we get the value 5. And so it's very simple to evaluate an expression if there's only one operator. But what happens when there's more than one operator? What happens over here if instead of 2 plus 3, I have 2 plus 3 multiplied by 4? Now, there are two operators and three operands. And in order for me to know how this is going to be evaluated, I would have to know something about the rules by which the operators themselves are going to be ordered. Those rules are called the rules of precedence or the operator precedence. Every programming language needs to have some way to decide which operator gets done first, which operator gets done second, and so on. In Python, as with most other programming languages, the operator precedence is going to be that the multiplication operators, so that would be multiplication and division, are done before the addition and the subtraction. So in this particular example, because there's a multiplication of 3 and 4, that would be done first, and the result would then be added to 2. So the multiply gets done first. The result of that is going to be then used in the addition. If we go back over to our active code and modify this problem so it's 2 plus 3 times 4, now what we'll see is when we run, the result is 14. 3 times 4 is 12. 2 plus 12 is 14. Now what if we really had wanted the addition to be done first? The way that we would force the addition to happen first is by placing it inside of parentheses. And so if I were to write this expression, 2 plus 3 inside of parentheses multiplied by 4, then the rule is that even though multiply has higher precedence than plus, because the plus, the addition, is inside of parentheses, the 2 and the 3 will be added together first, and that result then will be multiplied by 4. So 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 then multiplied by 4 should give us 20. If we go back over to our active code window and put some parentheses in here, so 2 plus 3, the result of that multiplied by 4. When I run, now I see that the result is 20. Now we said that multiplication and division operators are done before the addition and subtraction operators. But we've also talked about the fact that there's another operator called the exponent operator. The exponent operator, remember, is star star. So if I say 2 raised to the third power, that's 2 times 2 times 2, and the result should be 8. And so if I come over here to my active code, 2 raised to the third power, run that, and I see that it prints out the result 8. Now, what do you suppose is the precedence of the exponent operator with respect to the other two classes that we've seen already, multiplication and addition? 
And the answer is that the exponent operator has the highest precedence. And so the order of operations is going to be like this. We're going to have the exponent operator is always going to be done first. The multiplication operators and the division operators, so remember that includes regular division, integer division, and also the remainder operator, those will be done second. And then addition and subtraction will be done third. So in terms of precedence from high to low, exponent is highest, addition, subtraction, lowest, all the multiplication operators in the middle. And so if we come here and modify this example to say be 2 raised to the third power plus 1, can you think about what would happen? Well, the exponent operator will be done first, so 2 raised to the third power would be 8 plus 1, so the answer should be 9. But again, we can use parentheses to force the precedence of the addition to be done first. And so in this case now, 3 plus 1 is 4, 2 raised to the fourth power, and the answer is 16. So parentheses can always be used to create a higher precedence, but without parentheses we have to have rules, and those rules are exponent operator is first, multiplication and division operator is second, addition and subtraction operators are done third.